Are you tired of manually adding tedious adjustments to clips that take forever? Well, if you follow the simple steps I'm about to show you, you'll be able to speed up your workflow by leaps and bounds in PowerDirector 365. I have a clip of a CD Skyline on track one and I made some adjustments to the clip. So let's take a look at those adjustments that I made. We'll left click on the clip. We're gonna go to edit and we're gonna go to advanced. We'll go ahead and play this. And in the timeline below the preview, you can see that I added scale and position keyframes to make it look like the camera zooms in and then the camera pans across the scene. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And we're going to close out this edit panel. Now we'll copy the adjustments to the next clip on track one. But before we do that, I want you to create a click on the like button. Leave a comment with the tutorial you'd like to see. Subscribe to Power Director University and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. The next clip on track one is a clip of a mountain and a lake. So I'm going to move my play hit here and we'll play it just so you can see exactly what it looks like right now. You can see there's no motion in it whatsoever. Now we'll copy the adjustments by copying the keyframes from the first clip. We can't use this to copy effects, but we can copy any keyframes that are made like cropping, motion, and more. So we're gonna right click on the clip on the left that already has the adjustments on it. And we're gonna to go to edit clip keyframe. And then we're gonna to go to copy keyframe attributes. Next, we'll right click on the clip that we want to paste the keyframes to. We'll go to edit clip keyframe. And now we're gonna select paste keyframe attributes. Now, we'll go ahead and play this back. And you can see that it's making the motions, the same exact motions that we made in the first clip. Now, if you need to make adjustments to the keyframes, that's super simple as well. Just left click on the clip, go to edit, go to advanced, And now you can drag the keyframes where you want to. You can change the keyframe parameters on the left-hand side of the screen. You can change it up however you want. Once you're done, just click on OK. And we'll play that back again. If you wanna know the best way to crop a video, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.